So this module is about routing infrastructure security. And why do we even care, right? Isn't that somebody else's problem? Well, that is the problem, right? We all have to look at how we can make a difference because there are so many attacks, there are so many vulnerabilities, and we don't want to be part of the problem. So historically, the routing infrastructure of the network was not really that interesting to anybody that was trying to do something nefarious. But in the last few years, there's been more and more focus on the network infrastructure and also causing deliberate routing interrupts. Now, while attackers also need to have infrastructure up and available, they may try and divert traffic, or in extreme cases, they may make some areas of the network unavailable. Right? Neither of these are acceptable, and we have to do what we can to protect ourselves. So where is the routing infrastructure vulnerable? There are so many optics around this. Not as common, but they do exist, are active attacks, where the routing infrastructure is actually the target, and somebody is trying to either black hole your network and make it unavailable, or divert traffic. There's also software and implementation bugs. And as the saying goes, is it a bug or a feature? But if it causes a disruption in your network, obviously it's a bug. It's a problem that you need to look at. So you could have a protocol error. The routing protocol itself. Initially, none of the routing protocols really took security into consideration because they didn't think they had to. BGP uses TCP, so you could have some TCP reset issues Right. There may be other protocol issues that have not yet been discovered. So we always have to have a lookout for that. Configuration mistakes are also something that you really need to take into account. And while it's an unintentional issue, the ramification is the same as if it were an intentional attack. Configuration mistakes can cause traffic diversion and or denial of service. Now, I think that a key element of any security incident is how fast you detect and how fast can you recover. So whether or not, it's a, if it's a deliberate malicious attack or configuration mistakes, you need to think about it. So what do you have to think about when you're overall trying to think through, how do I protect my routing infrastructure? Well, first of all, you have to understand the whole problem. And you do want to think through what are all the different ways that a problem could occur. So do a risk analysis. Make sure, though, that you spend a day just thinking through your routing infrastructure and think about all the ways that somebody can do harm. And then that will help you think through, well, what is a priority for you to protect that infrastructure? And some of the things to think about are areas surrounding physical security, right? Where are your devices located? Can somebody do harm just by accessing it physically? Logical security, so how do I get device access remotely, either um, you know, through the network or even through some management devices? You want to have procedures in place for if something happens. So looking at what happens if there is a software vulnerability. Right? or if somebody deliberately causes a wrong image to be downloaded on the router. Now, this does happen. Years ago, there was a router vendor um, who was misportrayed, i.e. somebody put an image out that looked to come from a router vendor, and it actually had malicious software on it. So this is not just something that are stories that aren't true. This really happens. So you really need to make sure that you understand what are the images that you download on your routers, what are the configurations, and have some kind of check in place so you know that they're actually valid. So one of the things to always think about, everybody tells you to use all of these security functionalities and features. right? You want to consider all of them, but not all of them may be appropriate in your environment. And there are separate sections that, uh, and videos that talk about them. I want you to make sure that you always understand the risk mitigation. So basically, what is the control that will reduce the acceptable risk? And you always want to assess the cost of certain losses and do not spend more to protect something than it is actually worth. 
And you always want to take into consideration the operational cost, how difficult it is. If there is a problem with the feature or functionality, how quickly can you recover to then get to normal state? So if I were to give you some pointers in terms of how to mitigate most threats in your routing infrastructure, here's the five or six things that I would recommend. One, make sure you have physical device security so that not anybody can get access to the device and maybe inadvertently unplug cables. This does happen in some environments. You want to restrict access to networks and protocols so you do want to have filters in place. You want to be able to define potentially what location some person can have access to the device from. You also want to authenticate and use good credential management practices. So when you do authentication, you want to make sure that you have individual um, users authenticated and make sure that you also protect all of your credentials. You want to use cryptographically protected protocols for all device access so that none of the credentials are sent in clear text. You also want to make sure that you shut down unused interfaces and unneeded services so that they don't become an attack vector. And critical is audit your network traffic, log exceptions, and look at your logs, or create scripts that look at certain things. So one of the things uh, that I always start with is looking at unauthenticated access attempts. So I know that many scripts are out there. So typically, many devices will have a, a, a lot of logging entries for SSH access with crazy looking usernames and passwords. Right? But you never know whether or not one of those usernames and passwords can actually work in your environment. And again, that ties in to having really good credential management and don't have a username, you know, tech ops, and a password of 12345. And lastly, and this ties into the logs, don't forget to use accurate timestamps for all of your logging. Right? This is also very critical. And one thing that I do want to emphasize is you want to make sure that there is integrity with your system images and configuration files. There is a tool called Rancid that will periodically check against modified configuration files. It should be easy to use, and you do want to at least get alerted if somebody is messing around with your configuration files and maybe doing something nefarious. So please do think about securing your routing infrastructure. It will benefit everybody. Thank you.